Sakuta is such a refreshing main character for a rom-com. Is this a rom-com? Technically, there's romance and there is comedy, but it's not really just, you know, your typical rom-com. Anyways, he's an amazing main character. But I've seen, like, all these modern rom-coms, their fucking main characters are the most beta, soy boy, cucked, like, just flat, wet, noodle, cardboard, just drifting in the wind, has no fucking spine, but the girl sniffed them out. Why? Because that's the main target demographic. Oh, all the fucking money's gonna be made if the main character is, you know... Someone that's relatable if I don't do anything and a girl just helps me god damn I feel amazing by myself now I know my viewers are all giga chests just like Sakata bro actually fucking he in front of the entire school Like this is not even a guarantee, right? He just remembered. Oh, yeah, she still exists I'm gonna go out to the school just drop my midterm yell to the entire school that I love this girl and it was a Hail Mary play But grounded in some level of theoretical science still worked out It feels like the season's just gonna end now cuz what the fuck we saved now what? Technically, there's other, you know, things going on. Like, the little sister still has the, like, the cuts that disappear. And Shoko still kind of just disappeared. So, I think people also said that this might be a harem. So, other girls are going to get involved. Let's see what's going to happen. June 27th. So, that's like a month after. Is there a reason why she always wears this onesie at home? It's cute. So did she just drop out of school? Does she never go to school anymore to avoid all that shit? Hold up, this ain't blue lock. Japan won? I can't even tell if it's bedhead. It just looks the same. In fact, his hair looks the fucking same, right? Like, look at them. They look identical. Oh, we eat lunch together? She made bento for us? Oh. Oh, he kind of called her out. Hey, it worked. I love how even though we're technically like dating, she's a... There's a little bit like a barrier. Like, she's not being all mushy mushy, right? It's nice. I thought we already were though. What kind of response is that? No, I'm just processing. Oh, right, because after she had to wait a month, right? Uh. Uh. <laughs> you look way happier about that news than us. But I also theorized, you know, last step. Who are you gonna kiss? But I theorized that um, maybe she wouldn't be able to be seen outside the school because the rumor of her being his boyfriend is grounded in the school. Oh, yes, said yes this time. Oh, come, come. All right. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look a little bit. Hello? Is it happening? That's an egg roll! <laughs> yes. Yes. I guess that kind of counts. Oh, thank God. Thank God. What? What yeah, there's some a little bit of despair. Why are you doing this to us? You're cheeky! Oh, and then seeing the senpai like this, being all shy. We're in. Well, that's like the really nice thing about Mai because she pulls up that... She has like this strong exterior, trying to be all independent and stuff. But then the contrast between that versus the soft side there, it just makes it hit so much different. Mm. June 27th. Did we just go back two days? Didn't Japan already win? But didn't we start on June 29th? Wait! What the fuck is going on? You said that last time too. Deja vu. We're in a time loop. Yo, the plot is thickening. No, it's not just you. Oh, wait, that's it. The lipstick on his shirt. Wait! <laughs> Better not be a student's lipstick! And then she's gonna say, mm, Nah, doesn't make my heart skip a beat anymore. Being a little cheeky. Oh, 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 she's getting a little jealous. She's getting jealous. 
<laughs> I think she's cheeky too at times. Oh, hey, the nice thing about the time loop is that we got to see this again, but this is kind of concerning. Oh, someone's getting asked out. I don't think I know these guys. Oh, that's the girl we asked them um, last episode, though, about if you know Maya, and she just walked away. But will tomorrow come? It's a repeat again. June 27th. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but technically, if he's living through the time loops, wouldn't he be able to memorize all the different things that's gonna happen and then he'll be able to do something else to make a different outcome in the future and then that'll i don't know break the time loop only one aware of the looping but that's him but someone that's actually differently loop to loop so we gotta memorize all these different things and find out who's acting different someone that's aware but that's, that's, that's crazy. How are we going to keep tabs on everybody? Maybe we'll see the guy and the girl getting asked out again? No? Eh? Is it that girl again? It's her. I guess she's the next important character for this arc. Because wasn't she getting asked out by a guy at this point, right? But she, maybe, is she hiding here to not get asked out? He, I don't know. Koga Tomoe. Oh, she was the one that we kicked in the ass last episode. I theorized that maybe that girl was like, um, like, uh, Mai's like half sister, but no, no, no. This is the fourth time, right? Oh, never mind. At the same time. But why? Why is it happening to these two only? Maybe if you kick her in the ass again, it'll be broken. She's a, little She's a little feisty. The guy that asked her out. I love how puberty syndrome is just like this generic, vague term that can apply to any supernatural thing that goes on in this world. Well, how do you explain the time loop? <laughs> it's so tiny, we can just hide the phone above. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Did you? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get a bit more thick. Hey, come on, she can't do anything about that. Waste and ass. That is not a great thing. Don't most girls want a thick ass and it. Anyways. It's him again. Is he trying to find her? Why? To ask her out? Kind of creepy that he's trying to find her though, like this. This position's a little sus too. Is he a bad person? Rena. Don't know who Rena is, but I guess there'll be some drama. Uh oh. Oh, she's such a good friend. And, oh, we don't want to cuck Rena chan. No! Yeah, you can't accept this. The friendship is their friendship is gonna be destroyed. She's right. We gotta play the politics correctly here. Is that him again? Ah shit. Oh, this is awkward for Oh, this is wait, no, this is actually good. Maybe he's gonna give up now. This is I'm sorry, big man. I'm sorry, big man, but oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Did he it's not like that. It's, it's not like that. God, no! <laughs> it's called treatment. Well, uh, for the other guy though, you know, that, that was actually good. That was actually good because he would give up on her that way. But with Mai, that, that's, that's a bad, bad. Oh, tomorrow! We moved. But no! No! Mai! I thought he would reset! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. You gotta censor those toes. Holy shit. Hey, yo. Oh, that can I sure put the socks on? Show us the sock putting on animation, you cowards. 
The fuck? Hello, butt kicking friend. Yeah, everybody here does. Hello. Yep, she called us a pedal first. It is actually a ridiculous story. I can't believe how hard we kicked her, too. Rena. The the gossip, the rumor. Ah. No, it's not like that. <laughs> He's taking it so literally. <laughs> Good one. No, I don't. I didn't really get reject. I mean, kind of. I don't even know anymore. We kicked each other's ass once. That's about it. Hide what? But this doesn't really do well for the gossip if they're working together now. It's not like that! I guess it's nice to see that, you know, Koga has some nice friends to look out for her. You need a ride? <laughs> what is it? Because then it would be better for her to get guarded by, you know, the other guy that wants to, you know. But why don't we just clear up the misunderstanding? Because I guess then he would start attacking her again and then she'd have to deal with that shit. Not attack, but, you know, try for her. We need to just confront him. But what about my Noah? Confront your problems. When she says senpai like that, I feel like I have to help her out though. Dateable status? Why? What happened? Did his whole confession in front of the school... Yeah? People liked it? Oh, okay. Shameful? There is no shame in being alone and happy with yourself. No. Maybe this resonates within him. But the sister too? Mm. He sees the sister in her. Oh no, he's gonna help her out, isn't he? Alright, we gotta solve her shit. But what about my? What about my though? You wanna ride home? Mm. Why are you blushing? Did the date? Holy shit, you got asked out. Damn, you actually got asked out. We explained to her that Koga has a different set of problems, like the puberty syndrome, and she'll, I don't know, maybe be able to relate? Uh... Huh? <laughs> this fucking degenerate. <laughs> I, I kind of understand, though. Is that my? My's commercial? Yeah, drink, drink. Come on, feed me. Oh, cheeky. That's so weird seeing her like that in the commercial because we know like what her, what she's really like. Hi. Why? Oh, why is she visiting? She got some kind of outfit there. What? Uh, you, didn't didn't she say fuck off last time we met? Do you think Mai will be understanding if we actually go on a date, take a bunch of cute pictures with Koga? I think the rumor's gonna spread. This is not good. But if we explain to her exactly what's going on, hey, this is some puberty syndrome. She was stuck in some kind of time. We gotta help her out. You know, maybe she'll be fine with it. Wonder what she has in the bag there. She came to visit. It's really cute because she has such a cold exterior right and she actually she tries to act all mature because she's the older one and she tries to act like she doesn't care but sometimes her soft side kind of slips out and when it does the contrast between how she really is versus like when she's all blushing and shy that is so adorable now koga is just one girl we're gonna actually get a harm at this rate aren't we the little sister too we gotta solve her problem too. 
Well, she's not. She's actually blood related, so we should be safe on that aspect. Okay, it's like you know, date alive, Kotori, you know, non blood related. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.